I'm going to go ahead and show how to export a PDF file to a USB thumb drive, and then I'll show you what the PDF file looks like on a PC screen. So I'm going to go ahead and enter the USB thumb drive into the side of the machine. You will notice that the display references UDisk, which is it telling you that the machine recognizes the USB drive. From here, let's go into the file menu and it says auto save to ECG is the default. So let's go ahead and execute that. Right, so let's go ahead and um, execute that. We're gonna change that option to UDisk. And we're gonna change it. This will automatically save any new test results that you place on the machine to this USB thumb drive. You can then see the rest of the options, which are delete after transport or export, which means it will remove the files from the local machine, or SCP file compression, the default is set to on, which creates smaller file sizes. You can see here that if I tab over to the file format, it's currently in PDF, but you can switch over to DAT, SCP, which is the native format, or DICOM options. The final option is replace when memory is full. This means that when the memory is full, it will overwrite the oldest records to allow room for the newest records. If that is set to off, you will get a memory full error. So we have this set to UDisk in a PDF format. Now you can go ahead and tab down to the OK button to make sure that you have saved those settings. Go back to the main screen where you're still seeing the waveforms because we still have demo mode enabled. It does indicate that this file will save to UDisk. Let's press start, stop, and sample the waveforms. It will change to analyzing after 10 seconds. It will give you a preview screen, which you can choose to record. You do not have to print, but it gives you the option. Each of these sets of vertical lines delineates an F key. F1, F2, F3, F4, F5, F6, F7. So now that we're here, you can see that the file is on F1 you can see two files that we've recorded today. They were both the same patient ID. You can also see the times at which they were taken. Since these are already on the U-Disk, there is nothing to export. It will give you a status to see if it has been changed, transmitted, which means it has been sent over to the PC viewer wirelessly, or exported, meaning it was saved in the machine and then exported to a USB drive. In this case, it's none of those because we haven't done anything with the files. Next, I will show you that they do, in fact, live on the USB drive. So I've gone ahead and taken so the USB drive the out of the ECG machine. Out of the I'll go ECG ahead machine, and place it into, and our, place laptop. It now into our laptop. From there, it's, From there, simple. it's we'll very go simple. File manager, we'll go to our file manager and, and select and the CardioTech thumb drive. drive. You'll see folders called ECG data, and then you'll see a data from the patient that we've entered in. And then you'll get to ECG Click exports, and here are the two files that we've exported onto the USB thumb drive. I'll open one of them now so you can take a look at it. I'll open one of them now so you can kind of take a look at it. It is done through... It is displayed to the native PDF viewer, but you can also use the Adobe Acrobat Reader program. So you can see here so that we have the full got, patient um, report. The full patient report, again, very similar. To Which is very similar to the printed report. report. With our ECG waveform data With our and ECG interpretation. Data, a interpretation. And the basic measurements. The, basic measurements, the ID uh, and the patient information the ID, across the top. Uh, this can now be emailed, faxed, or transferred to your EMR.